Hello again and welcome to Cowboy Football Weekly, driven by Nissan. Well, it's homecoming week here at the University of Wyoming. The Cowboys will take on the Utah State Aggies coming up on Saturday afternoon right here in War Memorial Stadium. But let's go back and talk a little bit about the last time out for the Pokes. Uh, it was a roadie. It was at Fresno State and uh, didn't turn out the way the Cowboys wanted. Fresno State, one of the better teams in the Mountain West Conference, to be sure, Kevin, kind of took it out on the Cowboys. Cowboys led 3 nothing, but then... 27 unanswered points from Fresno State made it a 27-3 final, and uh, it was a tough one in all categories, I think, uh, last time out in Fresno. Well, especially on the offensive side, mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of more of the same, unfortunately, for the, the team. They just can't get going offensively, and, and uh, that obviously the big... Uh, area of focus for Wyoming uh, after these last couple of games. Cowboys just can't score points. Uh, they, they can't get in the end zone. That's a problem. Yeah, it was a tough go offensively for the Cowboys against Fresno State. And Cowboy head coach Craig Bowl and Wyoming quarterback Tyler Vanderwall both talked about the Cowboy offense last time out. First of all, um, we need to be more balanced and we can't get ourselves in third down and long. We've certainly got to be able to run the football, but our passing numbers got to be, I mean, they're way off base and we're not, I, I don't know if there's anything within the passing game we're doing well right now. We're not protecting very well, we're not throwing the ball very well, we're not catching the ball very well. Um, we never found a uh, rhythm offensively, you know, we were we had good plays and we just couldn't string them together. We'd go, uh, you, you know, we'd, we hit a pass play for... 12 yards and then we get off sides the next play and um, I think that's kind of been the story so far this this year the offense has never really found a rhythm and um, that's just something this is something we got to work on we just got to work on that at practice it's uh, finding rhythms and not shooting ourselves in the foot so up next it is the homecoming game right here in War Memorial Stadium out there on Jonah Field the Cowboys will take on Utah State boy here's another quality opponent as the the Aggies will come in with a 5-1 and one overall mark. They are the division leaders, the only undefeated division uh, team in the division. They're 2-0 and oh atop the Mountain Division as they come in. So another quality opponent, tough part of the schedule. Uh, no question for the Cowboys. Wyoming, of course, 0-3 in Mountain West play. Yeah, and the, and the Cowboys are having the same problem every week, it seems like. Mm -hmm. Defensively, I think they're holding up fairly well. and I really felt like they did against Fresno. But... Uh, the offensive side of the ball has got to pick it up, and this is not going to be an easy game to pick it up in because Utah State is playing very well both sides of the ball. Yeah, head coach Craig Bull talked about the Cowboys and just where they're at right now going into homecoming. They're a really resilient group, and there is a lot of pride. Uh, they certainly uh, did not, and we did not anticipate our record being reflective of where we're at. However, we knew going in and looking at this schedule, it was going to be challenging. Uh, but <clears throat> you know, I, I, other than overcoming some, you know, some sleep deprivation from some some really tough trips, I think these guys have got a really good attitude. And so, uh, you know, it's always helpful to get back out to work. Uh, we'll have a great uh, spirited practice today. Boy, sometimes the best thing is the next game and a game right around the corner for the Cowboys. I know they're itching to get at this Utah State game, and it sounds like the uh, the mental aspect. Mentally, the Cowboys are still very much in this thing. I think so, and I, I think uh, Craig Bull and the staff are really proud of them for doing that. Uh, I think some teams might roll over by now, but mm -hmm. uh, this team has still got a lot of fight in it, and uh, it's, it's going to be nice for them to be home. They had really two tough uh, games in a row away from home, and so uh, it's always good to be home, but this is especially good. I think this is just what the doctor ordered. You bet, and stay with us. We'll come back and talk more about homecoming, the Utah State Aggies, and Cowboy football right here on Cowboy Football Weekly, driven by Nissan. Back after this. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. 
keeping your work site on time, on budget, and onto the next job is keeping you up at night, you need to wake up to Komatsu. Our machines are designed for production, uptime, and savings. We are more than just iron. We are giving you a technology to make more material and less passes. Start sooner, finish faster, and burn less fuel. We are solving problems before you had them. So stop doing what you've always done. The only thing that's going to keep you up at night is wondering why you didn't do it sooner. Discover the job site of your future. Komatsu. When did we stop thinking up new questions and daring to chase down their answers? The world needs more wonder, more outside thinkers hungry for a challenge. The world needs more cowboys. And it's not what you are that makes you a cowboy or a cowgirl, but who you are. It's a shared spirit, the kind that emboldens those who possess it to stand on the perimeter and howl into the unknown with unbendable optimism. The world needs more cowboys. Well, it's not only a big conference game for the Wyoming Cowboys, it's homecoming right here in Laramie, Wyoming, as the Pokes will take on the Utah State Aggies Saturday, 1230 in the afternoon, the kickoff for that big, big game. And this Utah State team coming in with maybe one of their better Utah State teams in a while. Well, I'd say so. They haven't started 5-1 and one since like 1978, and they're looking to go 6-1, and one, which would be the first time since 74. So, uh, yeah, they're, they're playing very, very well. They're averaging over 50 points a game. They've got a great quarterback. He's got really good targets receiving-wise, and they got a really good running back as well. But uh, I'll tell you what they really have is they have good defense. And uh, any team that scores that much has got to have the ball. And, and this defense is getting the ball back for them. Uh, they've, had, they've got sacks, tackles for losses. This team has scored six touchdowns other than offense. And, and, and so that's telling you that special teams and defense has been outstanding as well. Absolutely, and Cowboy head football coach Craig Bull talked about this Utah State Aggie football team. We got a big challenge this week. Utah State, uh, I think, is playing excellent football. They're five and one. Uh, their only loss was a very competitive game against Michigan State on the road. Uh, Jordan Love has thrown the ball uh, close to 69 uh, percent. They're averaging close to 52 points a game. So you're looking at a very prolific offense. Um, they're playing stingy defense, and they're finding ways to win. They're plus five in the turnover margin. So a big challenge for us. So a little bit about that Utah State defense, I think they get overlooked, Kevin, and that's what Coach was talking a little bit about there. And, of course, the Cowboys, you can't overlook that, that Utah State defense. But this team leans on the offense. No getting around it. Boy, they have put up some gaudy numbers so far this season. They're averaging almost 52 points a game. It goes on and on. They've scored 73 on Tennessee Tech. How do you do that in a game? They've scored 60 uh, in another game. They scored 59 their last time out against UNLV. So this team's got all kinds of offense. It really does. And and, and they've scored against everybody, Michigan State as well. And they, yeah. they really had an opportunity to win that game. They could come in here undefeated. But they have a great guy at that trigger position. Love has been sensational. We got a chance to see a little bit of him last year in the second half of the game uh, over in Logan, but uh, we're going to get a, a, a real dose of him in this game because he has been playing lights out, and he's got a lot of uh, uh, cast around him that play very well as well. Really do great receiving core, a couple of running backs that have been very effective this season. The Utah State offense is a big challenge for the Cowboy defense. And Wyoming secondary coach, in fact, he coaches the safeties in particular. So we're talking uh, uh, Andrew Wingard, uh, Marcus Epps, and Elijah Halliburton, those three guys. Anyway, safeties coach Jake Dickert agrees this is a big challenge for the Cowboy defense. You just see an explosive, explosive offense going at a high rate and a high tempo. You know, it's you know the, the basic deal of wanting to cover the whole field, get the their playmakers in space, and and we got to match that. You know, I know with our cover guys and doing some different sub packages and and find a way to get pressure and, and really to make you know him not comfortable has been hard watching the film. You know, so man zone pressure. I mean, you got to try to mix it up. He's doing a great job of reading coverages, getting the ball out of his hands, and. And bottom line is we need to find a way to create some takeaways. You know, I know that was a secret, a little bit of secret sauce last year, and we've had some opportunities. And, you know, we like to say you got to catch the balls that are thrown to you. And we haven't always been able to do that this season. 
So it's the Bridger battle coming up on Saturday. The battle for Jim Bridger's rifle. Yeah, that's what's going on Saturday, 1230, the kickoff, the Cowboys against Utah State. Now, the Cowboys have held the rifle the last two years. They uh, kind of got it back right on that field uh, a couple of years ago. They held it when they won went to uh, Utah State and won last year. So. I think that's kind of a, I think it's a classic trophy, Kevin. The Cowboys, of course, started the season owning all three in their arsenal. This is a classic one, the Bridger Rifle. It really is, and it's a classic prize for a, a really great rivalry. Mm -hmm. this, this rivalry goes way, way back. Uh, a lot of people aren't so sure about that. They know about CSU and Utah and BYU, but Utah State and Wyoming yeah. Uh, have a long, long rivalry, and and I think it's great and appropriate to have a nice prize like like the rifle. It's really cool, and I know those kids would like to have it stay here. Yeah, they played one another for the first time 115 years ago, back in 1903. This rivalry, this series began. So yeah, a lot of fun coming up on Saturday as the Cowboys take on the Utah State. Aggies come back next time around here on Cowboy Football Weekly driven by Nissan. We'll take a look at some of the highlights and talk more about Cowboy football. For Kevin McKinney, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody.